Yes, OK, welcome back, everybody. Now, with this hot weather set to last until early next week, many people would much rather be working from home than travelling into the offices, sweating in the heat. Gosh, I've got sick of bingo wings pressed up against the perspex on the tube. I mean, that should be illegal in Patrick Christie's Britain, but then again, so would a lot of things. Uh, but with heat waves set to become more frequent and last longer, what are the rights of going to work in hot weather conditions? And do employers need to look at their policies? Well, Amanda Lennon joins me right now, an employment lawyer, HR director. So you're the person who sacks me, are you? Maybe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's been a long time coming, don't worry. But, uh, but no, so, so, so can you refuse to go to work if it's too hot? Well, there's no legal right to say, I don't want to come to work because it's too hot. But the health and safety executive sets rules for employers, so they have right. to they have to provide reasonable working conditions. There's no upper limit in terms of temperature, though, because some industries involve working with hot temperatures yeah, um, in like factory a, like environments. Like a glass blower or something, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so, so whilst you don't have the right to say it's too hot, clearly employers are going to have to provide fans if you work in an office, water, mm. um, sunscreen if you work outside, for example, on a building site. Oh. Um, to, to make things as comfortable as possible for you. But, I mean, it cracks me up. I mean, we've got... We're, we're in a... We were having a quick chat before we, before you came live on air about... Uh, we're, we're basically in, a, in an office block, essentially, here, right? And we're, we're kind of in, in, the, in the lower floor of that. Upstairs, right now, there's at least four floors. I have never... I've been working here for the best part of a year. I have never seen anyone in the office just above us, right? They threw the world's least well-attended Pride event where they just put some rainbow flags out. No-one turned up, right? I have never seen anyone... So, actually, working from home now is clearly just a thing, isn't it? And, and are you allowed to... Can, can I now say... Well, I don't want to, but can I now say, look, I, I, I need to do this show from home? Well, so the first point is, what's in your employment contract? I've so never read it. Co COVID, <laughs> COVID has blown a lot of these things out yeah. of the water. So what's in your employment contract? That's your base location. So if you're office-based and you haven't made right. any alternative arrangements, that's where you're supposed to go. Okay. And, in fact, I've been working with colleagues this week who'd much rather be in the office because it's beautifully air-conditioned than Fair sweltering right. at home where it's not set up for those temperatures. Um, but most employers will operate some sort of hybrid working policy now, and COVID has really helped drive that to the fore. So you can expect most decent employers will be flexible and allow you to work from home if the office environment is not conducive to that because of the temperature. So, 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 so what we've summed up so far is there's no fixed temperature where it's too hot to work because of obvious reasons, right? So we don't have that. If it's in your contract that your job is office-based, you have to stick to that, essentially, do you? And, uh, and, and basically, you can't just demand to work from home. It's essentially just whether or not your employer's quite nice about it. Yeah, really. essentially. Right. Are you seeing a lot of people kicking up a fuss about this now? Because I do wonder whether or not kind of... There's, em there's employees' legal rights, but there's also kind of like the fear from employers of losing people. Yeah. Are you seeing more employers just give in to workers' demands now? Yes, and I think COVID was Even the start of that. Even if they don't have to, sorry. Yes, yeah. COVID was the start of that because before COVID, lots of employers said, you've got to come to work five days a week. It's not productive oh. if you're all working from home. We don't trust you. COVID put paid to that, really. And in lots of office environments, employees have been able to show through the lockdown that they can be as successful working from home as they can in an office. So mm. I think most employers now will be concerned about well-being, wanting to keep the right people in their business, making mm. sure they don't leave to go to competitors. And some markets are really hot on the wall for talent at the moment. Um, so they've yeah. got to be flexible and they've got to listen to what their employees want. You mentioned the word talent. I'd know nothing about that. But I'm just asking... I'm just, I'm just asking for a friend here. <laughs> Is it difficult to get sacked? Depends what you do. Right. So, what have you done, then? Nothing. No, absolutely <laughs> nothing. No, no, no. No, a friend of mine has done some terrible things that really should have been sat for. But, 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 but no, not me. No, but seriously, if you're on a contract, I mean, you have to, you have to commit, like, just absolute out-and-out -out gross misconduct. In order to be sacked. fired. Yes, of um, sacked. Yeah. So gross misconduct is, is at the most serious end of what you could do to generate being yeah. dismissed, but the employer still has to follow a fair process. So, OK. Um, so it depends on each So what you're saying case. to me is deny, deny, deny and hope that they don't have the proof. Good stuff. <laughs> OK, thank you very much, no, Amanda. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry for inevitably dragging that interview in the gutter, <laughs> which is what I usually do. Amanda, thank you. Great to meet you thank in you. person, I must say, of course. Uh, Amanda Lennon there, of course, an employment lawyer and HR director. I'll, I imagine I'll be giving you a call quite shortly, actually. But uh, thank you very, very much.